Welcome to Stream Deluxe, my name is Mr. Anjan, welcome to a new video. In this video we are not going to talk about the Lunar New Year sale, my friends, we're going to talk about the best extension add-on for your browser and I'm going to talk in particular about the about the Steam database extension add-on for your browser so you can get this extension for any kind of browser uh, Opera, uh, Firefox, uh, of course uh, the, the classical Google browser maybe even for the maybe even for the Internet Explorer I don't know I didn't test it there guys so also my friends I will make a YouTube coin picker Steam key giveaway at the end of this video so 26 uh, comments in one of my latest videos my friends so the winner can then head to my uh, subreddit streaming the looks and can choose one of the steam keys uh, down below in this list and then of course my friends i also uh, want to profit from the from this video to uh, announce you that i have this gaming fin new gaming fin channel gaming industry and finance everything related to gaming uh, business gaming industry in, uh, in 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 particular guys let's jump direct Directly, let's jump directly, my friends, to to the uh, to the extension. So where you can find extension, uh, it's mostly here on the upper right side of your browser. I'm using now here Opera, therefore uh, probably you 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 use another one. So and then it's called extension. Uh, it's now here written in German, but this uh, this doesn't make a big difference. So Steam database. This is the version you have to download. So you can here on the right upper right side, for example, uh, in most of the browsers then you have the the field where you can uh, search for uh, for uh, extensions and uh, I I installed already the steam database extension and then you can click for example you click here on details or better said so on options and then you see here for example I can I can check different aspects of the extension I can say for steam database website for example highlight owned and wish which products on steam database so this is also an extension that's not only working for the steam store but also for the steam database uh, itself so extra data i can get then uh, extra data fetched from steam database and for my steam uh, for my steam store play so display lowest recorded price on app pages display current uh, current concurrent players and max peaks on app pages and display last dep depot updates and uh, so depots uh, update sorry on app pages so they put that's a little bit uh, confusing and then we also have a have a uh, have a new have a new way how we can better uh, sell and buy some of our inventories whether uh, better the, the better selling of your steam trading card so that's actually very cool and then also you can get some 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 help uh, with the tradings all right so i would say then guys we jump directly to my Steam launcher that that I can show you how this works. I don't. Uh, it's not going to be a very long video, but I want to show you especially how this extension works. So I have it now here installed, and I have most of the aspects uh, of the uh, different options. I have them checked in, and you can see already what is new. The Steam database rating is new. Steam database rating is based on all of the reviews. So here we see, for example, Back for Blood has a 63, 64% rating, pretty cool. Then we have the latest update. The latest update uh, was, for example, the 13th of January, so 16 days ago. So you see if this is a game that is still uh, continuously is updated. So not that you buy a dead game. No one wants to buy the buy a dead game. Then uh, here on the on the middle now of the screen we have this Steam database lowest recorded price. This is 35, uh, 36 euros based on your currency of your Steam launcher, of course at minus 40 percent then you can uh, want, can ask yourself okay now we have a promotion here the promotion is also 35.99 so this is then actually now the lowest price also here you of course you have the date and then you can click here view on steam database uh, then you can uh, uh, come actually to to this page so what i think is also very very cool guys very very cool is uh is here this this part so on the right side now in the middle you see we see how many people are online in this game this is actually especially interesting for multiplayer games so you see if this is a dead game so otherwise you would have now to click on the community hub and then you also see of course the numbers how many are online we also see how the peak of today today was the peak at 6400 for example for back for blood and the all-time peak there you see if this was actually game uh, this 
if it was even uh, successful at one point. So I would say an all-time peak of 65, 66,000 for Back for Blood was actually not really a success. And then we see also the number of followers. That's also then very, very interesting, guys. All right, so, and then we have here also view article, uh, view on uh, Steam database and view article on PC gaming wiki. So I, if I click now view on Steam database, then uh, we come to, to this page where we can see uh, all the different uh, prices of the store. So now you can always say, yeah, I, I want to buy, buy it. Uh, for example, with Turkish Lira, you see the price of Turkish Lira in converted is now $11. So if you yeah set, set your uh, region to Turkish uh, to Turkey, then uh, then probably you can buy it for eleven dollars. So, but I always uh, don't don't do this so easily. Uh, there you can get some problems. So some people say they never have a problem with this, but for example, I'm not doing this now with my huge uh, library, so I'm not interested in this. All right, so let's jump back, and then we uh, go for example to my inventory because I want to show you this. This is my inventory, nothing special. So I see, for example, now those Assassin's Creed Origin booster pack. I can list this now here directly. I can list this item directly for, for 12 cents and I can uh, sell it or I sell it here immediately for, uh, yeah, for 10 cents and here for listed for 12 cents. So I, I can uh, click this very easy and then don't have to now click on sell and then I have to put my own parameters in. So I actually enjoy this too. So I'm going to sell some of those items. All right. So, and then on the profile, of course, I can go to the profile. There, I also have this little uh, button Steam database calculator. So if I click on this now, I come to my uh, Steam database calculator page. There I see the account, my account value between $15,000 and $25,000. Yeah, I, I don't know if this is correct. I mean, I bought so many games uh, cheaper. So uh, it's, I, it's very difficult to say if this is correct. And then you have all the information about my Steam, about my account, of course. So, this is nothing special. Uh, everyone can see this uh, from, uh, from 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 everywhere. So this is open for 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 yeah, open for everyone on the internet. All right, guys. So that's it actually. So check out the Steam database X, database extension add-on for your browser. So you're going to love it. And let's choose a winner, my friends. And the winner is. ST Flux, Darksider 3 for sure. I'm gonna buy that one. Okay, great. Thank you, my friend. So head over to my uh, subreddit and then you can choose one of those Steam keys. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you the next time. Bye bye.